Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a revolution only full face try on makeup. Just quickly, I just want to announce that I'm going to be doing a new series. So every single week I'm going to be going into Superdrug and I'm going to be purchasing one brand only. And with that one brand, I will then be doing a full face of makeup and a haul. So this is gonna let you guys see what products are actually worth spending your coin on and which ones are just totally useless and don't bother. So I'm gonna be calling this the Super Drug Series. So yeah, like I say, once a week, I'll be spending my coin and testing products for you guys. So if there is any brands that you really want me to try, that you've been dying to see, put a comment below and I'll make sure to do that. So I kind of cheated a little bit today because we've already done the Red Revolution Beauty Haul. If you want to see that, again, I'll put the link below. Everything I'm using today is Revolution. Absolutely everything. So we're gonna try and test and see what it's like. How cute is this straw? Oh look, I got them from Tesco, so we get a pack of seven. I love them, they've changed my life. So let's get started. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more. Hi friends, squidgy squidgy in here. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and put on is the Revolution Good Vibes Lip Balm. Ah. I really like this lip balm. It's got a little bit of a tint to it, but as you can see, but it's so moisturizing. So next I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Primer and I'm just going to put this all over the face, obviously, where else would you put it? I don't know what it is but ever since I've started YouTube again, I've had a spot here like permanently. It's like, hi, yeah, we're here, hello. <laughs> what I will say about this primer, it doesn't really give you much of a glow but it definitely mattifies and just smooths everything out which is always nice. So then I'm going to be going into the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. And just in case you're wondering, I'm in the shade F10. Now, if you saw my Revolution haul, you would have seen that my sponge or whatever it was that was actually in there decided to fall off. So I'm just gonna, oh, use the little, little applicator. I've probably put way too much on. And then I'm gonna be taking the Revolution Beauty, it's not called a beauty blender, but I can't not refer to it as a beauty blender because it's just natural for me. Okay. So, mm. Mm. Okay, so in terms of the coverage, it's okay. I actually, so this is the Conceal and Hydrate, and I have the other one, I can't remember what it's called, but I would say the other one is probably a little bit nicer. This would be amazing if you've got um, dry skin though, because it does definitely have that element of hydration in. But as you can see, it didn't cover great, so I'm having to go in with a, oh! I'm having to go in with a second pump. So I'm having to use quite a lot of product. So I'm not gonna put too much of this guy on, but yeah, I would say it's okay. I'm not in love with it just because the coverage for me isn't 100% there. Again, no, I do love a full, full coverage foundation. So then next I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Prime and Lock, and this is the eyeshadow primer. So let's give this guy a go. I've got to try not to get this on my lashes. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't have a brush, so I'm just gonna do old style and go in with a finger. Mm. So this is very moisturizing. Very smooth, it definitely has covered. So we'll see what the eyeshadow applies like on top of that, but that's quite nice. It actually went into the skin really easy as well, which is obviously what you want. You don't want something that's just gonna get everywhere and just make a whole lot of mess. So I'm gonna do the eyebrows now, and I don't know how well this is gonna go. I've got two products that I'm gonna try. So I've got the brow pomade, and then I've also got the powder. So I'm gonna try the brow pomade. Again, I don't know how well this is gonna, gonna go because I haven't used a pomade in years, so. Oh, oh, very nice, very pigmented. I mean, I only put that in once. You can see, like, that's really nice. I don't like my eyebrows too dark just because my hair is so light. Um, so let's just see how well this actually brushes through. Gonna, again, I'm not gonna do the whole brow because I'm gonna focus on probably like this end bit here. Let's have a look. I really like this, guys. Really like this. I've always actually thought pencil was easier, but to be honest, this is starting to sway my decision. I think this has changed my eyebrow game a little bit, you know? 
Okay, guys, I like that product. That's really, really nice. I've hardly used any of the product. It's really pigmented. And again, the color payoff is amazing. So I'm also just going to try the brow powder now. I really know if I've got the right brush here, to be honest, for this. Oh, that's really pigmented. So I have to say, I actually really, really like both of those products. I think they're both really, really good. Really easy to use. Really, really pigmented. This brow, again, is my problematic one. So this one's going to need a little bit more loving. A little bit more TLC, but I just want to be conscious because... Otherwise, what will happen is I'll have one really dark brow. Then I'm going to go in with an old-time favourite. This is the Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows in Flawless Free Resurrection. Is this one. And the reason I really want to use this, I already know that this, this eyeshadow palette is really good. But the main reason that I want to use this is because I want to see the difference in the application with the primer. So what I am noticing is the product is going on a lot easier. It's a lot easier to blend out. The coverage is also better. So the, the product is definitely more pigmented than when I haven't used an eyeshadow primer. Okay, and then I am going to go in with this. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go in with this. Let's try it. Why not? And I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner and just blend that through. Next, I am going to actually take a really small fluffy brush. I'm going to take that dark brown in the corner. Really focus that in on the crease. There's some fun colours that I would love to use in this palette. It's just that naturally I gravitate to browns and that kind of thing. It's just like a natural just can't help it it's my comfort zone okay okay so then i'm gonna go in with this color here which is like a gold we're just gonna pop that on the lid wow that's so much more pigmented with that eyeshadow primer definitely definitely more pigmented with the eyeshadow primer so yeah it's worth it's worth the money that not that it's really expensive or anything but you know what i'm saying so we're gonna take this color here which is the highlight color give you guys a little zoom in so you can see that look Okay, so moving on, I'm going to take my concealer now. This is the Conceal and Hydrate. So again, it goes alongside the actual foundation that we just used. I've already used this concealer. I think I used it in my last impressions video and I really liked it. It's just really pigmented, really pigmented. It just adds a nice amount of coverage, but also doesn't give you like that really creased look under the eye you know like sometimes you get that really horrible grease look if you have like a high coverage concealer and you can just see it just gives you such a brightness to your face so then i'm going to go in with my matte base concealer now this is a concealer but i don't use it for that i use it as a foundation stick because it's incredible as a foundation stick so there's a little tip for you guys then i'm going to set everything so i'm gonna take the um revolution pro hydra matte translucent setting powder i've never used this and then i'm gonna take the really nice velvety sponge that i kept raving about in my last video i'm gonna this is a strange product um this powder is flying everywhere right now that's really messy so it basically has like a little cushion <coughs> i think i ate half of it to be honest and then i'm going to be taking the revolution bake and blot powder and i'm just going to finish off the rest of the face while that sets it does the job basically but i wouldn't say it gives you coverage or makes your makeup last all day or anything like that. it's just okay like if you're looking for an inexpensive powder that's nice this is good so we're going to try and blend this guy in now. This is really nice. Blends in really well. Has definitely given me a level of coverage and has brightened. So if you are looking for a translucent powder that isn't going to break the bank, this is really nice. And I've tried a couple of translucent powders. Obviously throughout the series, you're going to find a little bit more. 
about them but i've tried a couple and this is probably one of the best ones that i've tried so the next thing i'm going to do is finish my eyes so i'm taking the revolution pro coal pencil in black oh hang on don't let it break off in your eye because that's not good so i've just done a little underline and then i'm going to go back in with this reddish brownish mauvish and just do a bit of a smudge underneath with the two does anyone else find that when you're doing like a lower lash makeup you can't help but open your mouth i'm literally like this just can't help it it's just like a natural thing now just want to give you an update as well i've been sippy sticky in my lip balm is still on still feeling hydrated feeling nice so again obviously i don't have to touch my top lashes but I'm going to take the mascara revolution and go in with the bottom ones. Now this is a big wand. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Pray for me. I'm nervous. It's so big. <laughs> really need to choose my choice of words. Okay. It's a nice wand. Again, I really wish I could use it on my top lashes. I'm, I'm finding it like it's hard to use on your bottom lashes because it is so big. There's definitely a lot of coverage. It's a really nice mascara. It is a really nice mascara, actually. I really like that. So I have a cream carpet and I've just looked down at this foundation all in the carpet. Amazing. Okay, so that's my eyes finished. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use the Patricia Bright Dusk Till Dawn. I'm going to use this for contour and for highlight. Okay, very pigmented, very pigmented. I've put way too much on. So I'm just gonna try and blend that out quick because that looks atrocious. Blends out really well, actually, really, really well. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my gosh blusher brush for this one today. Fish face. It's really pigmented, really pigmented, really nice. There's literally no fallout on the palette either none i'm really impressed patricia bright got this like she got this this is such a nice contour i think this is going to become my new favorite now let's see if the highlighter's got it as well though because that's important so we can take the highlighter nice very nice color very natural looking not sure it's bright enough for me because i do like my, my highlight like it is nice but I'm, i am having to get quite a lot of product which is the only downside like i'm literally having to get tons of product revolution do way better highlights um i mean if i were going to purchase this palette again it would just purely be for the contour gonna take my revolution pro lip pencil in val this is one of my top faves and then the revolution pro supreme matte lip pigment in veal oh what a combo veal's a little bit light for me i'm gonna go back in with a pencil and just do a bit of lip contour okay so the actual pro lip pigments are lovely really really nice no funny tastes no funny smells really moisturizing i really struggle with lip pigments because i do have quite dry lips so normally when i wear a lip pigment it can be quite dry but this isn't like that at all it's really nice actually really nice and then last but not least i'm taking the makeup obsession dewy fix fixing spray not sure that really did anything I'm not gonna lie it's like there's no dewiness it's not added anything just felt like i'm spraying water on my face okay guys so that is it for today this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe to keep up with this series as i said we'll be going on on a weekly basis leave your recommendations below or any brands that you want to see and i'll see you in the next one bye